Hi. Um, there's a pickle colored object behind me too. And we'll get to that in a sec. I don't even know if this is starting or not. Why does it start playing an ad? I'm watching my own video. Why does it start playing an ad? I truly don't mean to do that. How's everybody doing? Happy Friday. Today, we're going to talk about all sorts of really fun stuff, such as, but not limited to, there's a big giant pickle colored thing behind me. Very excited like that. Very excited about that. Very excited. Um, 1,200 gallons. Somebody double check. It's eight foot by six foot by four foot. I think that's like 1,200 and change. So let me know. Someone please do the math. I'm not very smart. Also, get a, I almost said what it was. A reptile that I said I would never, ever get a species, but then I kind of alluded that I was going to get one. Anyway, uh, I woke up from my sickness sleep to watch this. Well, hey, thank you, Heather Adam Wickens. Appreciate you very much. Thanks, guys, so much for showing up. This is amazing. 106 of you just showed up to watch some bald idiot in his basement eat pickles and drink pickle juice and talk about reptiles. I'm going to show you all sorts of really cool stuff. <clears throat> what else are we going to do on the stream? Um, oh, new channel. So, uh, Wiccans Wicked Reptiles is not going anywhere. In fact, in a month, and, so about six weeks, it's our five year anniversary. So it's Wiccans Wicked Reptiles fifth birthday, January 14th. And I'm hoping that we can launch a new channel on that day too. And I released a teaser today. So in the description of this video and in the comments somewhere, uh, there's a link. So if you want to watch that in a different browser or whatever, I'd really love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you think. I'm really proud of the teaser, and I think the videos that are going to come out of it are amazing. They're, it's not reptile-related. The reptile videos will still come on this channel. Nothing will ever change at all. Uh, so twice a week, but once a week. Uh, five years, yeah, I know. Crazy, right? But once a week uh, on a different channel called Informal History, I'll be releasing videos about, well, the idea initially was to make history-related videos because I love history. But sometimes I feel like history is like too complex for people. So instead of doing, you know, like in order to understand this, you have to understand. I'm just going to like talk, explain it like you're eight, you know, that whole Michael Scott thing. Explain it to me like I'm eight. Okay. Now explain it to me like I'm five. That's basically, that's basically what I'm going to do uh, for history. So, um, yeah. And history is really interesting. If you are, if you don't like history class, it's because your history teacher sucks. History is actually really interesting. Uh, you can make a math channel and watch. <laughs> Promise you'll not make a math channel. I went to uh, summer school for math three times. Not the brightest uh, cookie in the jar. Um, so. Oh, and a uh, round of applause for Max. Thank you, Max. Appreciate you for being the moderator here. Um, did I get new glasses? So I, I have a sponsorship with glassesusa.com. And... Uh, they sent me these glasses. I don't necessarily like the way they look on me, but somebody else does. So sometimes you yeah, take L's for yourself uh, to make other people happy. So favorite reptile. Um, why don't I just show you what this thing is? Actually, it's my phone's charging right now, but in a second, I'll show you what that thing is. But can anyone guess what's going in this enclosure? Let me know. And if you're right, by the way, it's three different species. And if you get them right, or at least like broadly sort of right, then I'll send you a t-shirt, okay? So let me know in the comment section. First, you rock. No, new build rocks, new channel suite. Thanks, young smoke hole for, smoke hole, smoke bowl for $3.33 Canadian. Appreciate you, which is $2.60 American. And I know that because it's the only super chats come through so far and it calculates it on my screen. And 10%, usually I do um, like a donation or something. Uh, proceeds for this, uh, Proceeds for this super chats for this stream is going directly into that big enclosure because it's costing me a fortune. Now, Custom Reptile Habitats did send me this enclosure for free. They did not ask me to promote it. They just, Paul's a good guy, okay? But the rest of it is expensive. So that is what this this channel or this stream rather is uh, funding that. So, uh, okay, let's see. Did anyone, Big Snake, not something you're sure for that. Um... Hello, Casey. Did you get these? How did you get these glasses? Uh, GlassesUSA.com slash Wiccans or WW. I don't even know what it is. But anyway, use my code and you'll get 10% off or something like that. I don't even know how it works. Uh, but GlassesUSA.com. That's where I got them. I don't even really like them that much. But thank you guys if you guys are saying nice things. If you're saying bad things, that's fine too. I agree with you. Kind of looked like a goof. All right. 
First, green iguana. No, not a green iguana because it's going to be three species and green iguanas couldn't really live with anything. Size of the 12 would be... Are we sure? So here's how you calculate it. So let's all learn math together. So uh, 84 inches is 8 feet, right? Anyway, you convert them all to inches. So 72, 6 feet, times 84, 8 feet. Or is it 86? Why am I so stupid? 72... Plus 12 is 8, so that's 7 feet, so 96. 96 times 72 times 48. Take that number, divide it by 231. That's how many gallons that enclosure is. Somebody let me know in the comment section below because I can't do it because I I, all my devices are being used right now. Uh, not a Burmese python, Paul McCartney. That is not as rude as saying John Lennon, so that's fine. Appreciate you. Um, one of them is a dart frog. Correct. Three species. A boa constrictor, red-eyed tree frogs, dart frogs. Okay, so apparently, I've already talked to you about this, but I did change one of those species. That was the original plan, young smoke pool, but I did change one of the species. So, good try, and I think that you're a cheater because we already talked about this, because you're my friend. So, <laughs> we probably talked about this at a expo. Not tree monitors, not rock pythons, not dune geckos. <laughs> Holy Canada. Matt channel, I'm telling you, I should. Uh, green iguana, 96. So 1,436 gallons. Thanks, Olivia M., for that. Appreciate you. Um, sup, Rick? I love how everyone's just saying hi to Casey. Casey, you, Casey you're a bigger star of the channel than I am. Uh, oh, I oh, I wish I brought them down. Maybe we have to go upstairs to show you the mystery reptile anyway. But Casey, Casey, can I say the cool things that you sent me? Let me know. Uh, some people are just like they don't want... They just don't want people to know stuff about them, so I'm always very careful. It's Dave Kaufman, a tortoise, and a small cat. You win! No, no cats. I'm allergic to them. 96 inches is 8 feet. What did I say? Didn't I say 96? I don't know. I don't even know how to do math. 500 sand geckos. Correct. Dart frogs, tree frogs, and morning geckos. No. Okay, so there is a big animal that's going in there because it's 8 feet by 6 feet by 4. Okay, right? So it's a big enclosure. Super excited about it. So I have big animals, and I want to stick two of these big animals in there with two species of smaller animals. So Young Smoke Pole was right about two, but not the third one. Uh, Cusco, Brian, and Garrett. <laughs> uh, they would all fit in there. Dave probably wouldn't fit in there, though. So, uh, What's up? What's up, Rick? <laughs> Man, these things are so much fun. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. No water monitors. So I know people are going to give me crap. I don't care. That enclosure is not big enough for a water monitor. A water monitor um, needs an enclosure, needs water area that big. So that's not big enough for a water monitor. Where is Diamond? Great question. Let me go get one. Burmese python. No. I'm so confused. Why are you so confused, Asher? Tell me all about it. Where is Diamond? Oh, wow. Oh, there you are. Found him. Oh, I love how when Bearded Dragons sleep, they just look dead. He's not dead. Okay. You guys like my shirt? It's the same one that Dian and Mike have, and they both wear them on the same day at Animal Con, and they made fun of them relentlessly. Put me in there when I'm dressed as you and you can own yourself. That would be a hilarious video. You and Asher should get together in that enclosure, and then there'd be three atoms. Uh, it is a tropical tank setup. Amazon milk frogs, no. Boa constrictor, no. Dart frogs, maybe. Okay, so the dart frogs is one, and I don't even really know the species. I think that I'm going to do Santa Isabel's because, honestly, it's kind of an experiment, right? The big animal is not going to eat the dart frogs, and the big animal is not going to eat the second smallest animal that no one's guessed yet. So, or did Young Smoke Cold Gas? I can't remember. But... The issue of the bigger animal crushing them, I don't think is going to happen either. So anyway, I'm going to try to stock it with things that aren't hyper expensive. Not that I'd ever put them a life in danger if I really thought that it was going to be an issue. I'm just going to be careful. You know what I mean? Not a Fiji banded iguana, not a chameleon, not a garter snake, not a blue tongue skinks, not a lychee, not a Fiji banded iguana. No. Fiji banded iguanas, I wouldn't put in there with frogs and stuff because they'd probably try to eat the frogs, honestly. I know Fiji banded iguanas are supposed to be herbivores, but I'll tell you what, if I put if I put uh, crickets in with Frankie, Frankie 
smashes those crickets. No problem at all. Also, every every twenty dollars donated, uh, I'll take a big swig of pickle juice. I only have one pickle today, but I do have way more upstairs. Obviously, not normal tree boa, not a monitor, not a Burmese, not an anaconda. I would freaking love. You guys are on the right track. I would love. Not a Maclets, not a Spangleri, really? No. <laughs> not leaf tail geckos, not Argentine boas, not tagus, not carpet pythons. Uh, it's not a new purchase. It's something that I got in March last year. Yeah. So the first person to get all three species, and right, dart frogs is good enough. You don't have to uh, guess the species of dart frog. Uh, vampire crabs would be cool, but vampire fry, vampire crabs would probably eat the dart frogs. So, no. Bro, what? Bro, what? <laughs> not, not all the pythons, not rhino rats, not monkey tail skinks. Uh, I still have the black and white tag you. What's up, Dion? We are just talking about you and this cool shirt. You like this shirt, Dion? Uh, ba not basilisk, not a doc, not a red foot tortoise, not green iguana. Not monkey tail skinks, not children's pythons, not cave geckos, not a sloth. Uh, okay, so someone just guessed it, the big animal. So someone's guessed the small animal, which we know is uh, dart frogs. There's another medium-sized animal. It's a little bit bigger than the dart frogs. And someone just guessed the big animal. So whoever puts all three together in the same guess gets a free shirt. I'm also going to give away another free shirt just for fun. You know, just for poops and gigs. But either way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What's up, Diane? So glad you're here, buddy. And Oh, Diane, I have to send you the teaser for the new channel. I sent it to Mike. Mike said it was good. But uh, you apparently don't check your Snapchat anymore. So anyway, Congo Snake, uh, I poop and I do gigs. Me too. I also poop and do gigs. So crazy. If you're in uh, St. Catharines next weekend, I'm at Showtime Comedy on the uh, Friday and Saturday, 8 and 9 or 7 and 8, 8 and 9, whatever. Dart frogs and a null. No. Retic, re dart frogs and horn lizards. No. Maybe you got more than one of those right, though. Uh, no croc sinks, no anoles, no green tree frogs, no frill lizard. I'm picturing Adam on Snapchat with teenage girl filters on. Yeah, I do that sometimes. No Colombian red uh, rainbow boa. Imagine a rainbow boa and a retic. Super dwarf, retic, dart frog, red foot tortoise. No, you got two of the three. Uh, rainbow boa, no. Rainbow boa, no. Hot and Knowles, not croc skinks. The shirt, uh, into the AM dot com slash WWR. Uh, dart frog, retic, python, and basilisk. No, because the retic would definitely eat the bat. Oh, definitely eat the basilisk. Super dwarf, retic, white tree frog. Okay, so. It is super dwarf retics, two of them, and it is dart frogs, but it is not white tree frogs. Close, so close. Uh, is it a six foot redhead? No, but I definitely had one of those help me build this. So, uh, be professional. Dart frog, bearded dragon, and rhino iguana. <laughs> no. Uh, hey, Casey Silva, what's up? One hundred and fifty bucks for the endless projects. Best way to spend Friday night with you. And the rest of the reptile peeps. And yes, you can reveal what I sent you. I mean, it was totally epic. Okay, so Casey, first of all, thank you. You do not need to be this generous, even though I know you are. And it's just, that's what you do. Casey has sent me Bruins jerseys for me, for Diamond. And then he sent, she sent, uh, he, she sent Bruins jersey for uh, for Josie and Nellie as well. So Josie, when she gets big enough, and Nellie have their own Boston Bruins jerseys, which I think is absolutely amazing. Casey, you're, you're the best. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I cannot say enough good things about you. Not Emerald Tree Skinks, Super Dwarf, not Day Geckos, not Red Foots, not Day Geckos, not Day Geckos. Yeah, well, 150 bucks. I know Casey's crazy. Casey's the best. Also, Casey's been here since like day one, by the way. She's been a, a supporter forever. Um, Casey, <laughs> Casey's been here so long that there have been streams where she's the only donator. <laughs> Uh, single back, red eyes, no, screen enclosure, no, I don't know what that is, I don't know Latin names, not milk frogs, not dumpy tree frogs, that's the same as a white tree frog, I'm a redhead, uh, it's already occupied by a redhead, uh, boa, no, green tree frogs, no, tuatara, red eyes, so again, you have to put all three in the same guess in order to win, super dwarf, 
red eyed and gray tree frogs. Well, you, I mean, but you know, dart frogs are one of the answers. Black eyed tree frogs are pretty cool. Young smoke pool, dart frogs, glass frog. No, not glass frogs, but you're so close. So, so close. Smoke pool, thanks for the $2 again. Jessica Bunting, $10. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, oh, and by the way, if I'm, if I reward this to somebody and you guessed it earlier and I just missed it, Send me a screenshot and I'll give you a shirt too. It's my fault. Not black eyed tree frogs. Black eyed tree frogs are cool though. Black eyed tree frogs, dart frogs, and retics. You're so freaking close. You're so freaking close. Super dark, dark pixie, no. Uh, tomato frog, no. Dart frog, super dwarf, and retic. Dwarf, retic, dart frog, red eyed tree frog. Okay. Louis Schiappetta, dwarf retic, dart frog, and red eyed tree frog. That's it. Um. I was going to do dumpies because dumpies also come from Indonesia, just like retex, but the dumpies are definitely going to eat the dart frogs. So, uh, Louis Schiapata, Schiapetta, um, email me, wickedswickedreptiles at gmail.com, and uh, just show me that it's a screenshot of your account so I know it's you, and then I'll send you a shirt, let me know what you want, and for everybody else, if you guessed that first and I missed it, just send me a screenshot of it, but yeah, man, you guys, that was fun. That was so much fun. I want to give away another shirt anyway. But, oh, Asher, you said that way before? Okay, send me a screenshot that you said it way before and then shoot me a, a message. Uh, a lot of people said that? Damn. All right, well, whatever. Send me screenshots. I missed and missed it. I'm trying to pay attention to other stuff too. Also, my nose is running. I'm trying not to do a, a nose blow yet. But, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Send in about 40 shirts. Uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever it is, what it is. Adam the center. <laughs> Damn. All right, whatever. Snakes for the memories. What's up? I'm so glad you guys are here. Uh, bring the trumpets, Adam. I will. My Kleenexes are over there. I'm actually doing okay with the allergies. I went to a doctor who actually cares. So in Canada, like I know you guys think that healthcare is free. It's not. Our taxes are ridiculous. I should show you my tax bill for this year. My tax bill was over 50% this year. Um, so you work for the government and you get to keep a little bit basically in Canada is how it works, uh, which is why I'm incorporating. It's No one actually cares, but it's a big deal for me. So congratulations to me. I have a, cor I have a corporation now. But um, – uh, so when you go see a doctor because it's free healthcare, like they don't get paid the same as in the U S and they don't care most of the time. So I finally got a doctor who was like fresh at event school. He looked like he was 14 years old and he finally actually like did something with me and like did a, did a bunch of tests. He's like, you should take this and this and it actually worked. So now I don't have to blow my nose as much as the whole point of that story. Anyway, send everyone a shirt. <laughs> yeah. 265 shirts. You owe us three pickle swigs and you need hot sauce. I do need hot sauce. Young Smoke Pole, where have you been? I missed you at the last expo. I saw a taller version of you. This guy, and by the way, I'm not making fun of you because we're the same height. But I saw a guy talking to Alec uh, DVM, to Alec Brown, and I looked at him like, oh my God, Smoke Pole got so tall, but it wasn't you. It was somebody else who looked like, just like you. One, two, three. A lot of garlic in my mouth that time. <laughs> taxes are an important part of life. Yeah, not paying 52% of your income to taxes plus G – okay, never mind. I'm not even getting into it. You guys have heard enough. I go on this rant all the time. In Canada, taxes are the most ridiculous – like by the time it's all said and done with sales tax, carbon tax, property tax, you're probably giving close to 70% of your income back to the government. It's insane. Anyway – you live in Canada too. Create some Canadian healthcare. It's true. I got on late. Do we know what the three reptiles are yet? Yes. Three reptiles. Uh, oh, perfect. The, I don't want to say his real name, but even though that's what shows up when, with the email. Uh, the three animals that I'm putting in this big enclosure are Super Dwarf Retic. I'm putting two of them in there. A male and a female. And I've got four retics, so I can just change them out. I was going to put – so I was going to put Franny, the BCI, right? But the problem with the BCI is she's too heavy for the ledges. You can see the ledges. So I think she'd rip them. Although I did screw them into the wall, I did not really follow the advice. Okay, let me just take you over there so we can actually show you what I'm talking about. Okay, sorry. That's my hand. I know. Hold on. Okay, I'm coming. All right, take a little. I'm drinking ginger ale. 
All right, sorry. I recommend smaller tree frogs, like glass frogs. Uh, red tree frogs get three times the size of endobezel, and I know the bigger size girls would eat them. Okay, yeah, so you have a good point. What I really like to do is put terribilis in there because I don't think the red tree frogs would eat the terribilis. The problem with glass frogs is they're so expensive and unavailable in Canada. They're almost impossible to find here. Um, yeah, so anyway, oh, so there's the Mist King to power it. So this whole room is different. I didn't even really think about that. Okay, so let's just walk you around the reptile room a little bit, okay? You walk in and you're used to this. This has always been here. It's rearranged a bit. And then the this spot right here used to be this stuff. I don't mean to like make you guys dizzy. This stuff, which is now changed. I did film a reptile room tour before I, I uh, missed it. I think email is preferred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Email me if you uh, prefer stuff. Uh, anyway, so this is gone now. I'm going to put a couch right here. There's tortoises right here. I have a plan for them. That's for a different video. And then Custom Reptile Habitat sent me this behemoth. Like, let's go just stand inside of it, okay? Just to give you an idea. I'm like literally standing. And I got room in here, by the way. Also, I'm pretty short, but still. So then it, uh, it's Universal Rocks background, which is on the wall with screws. So I need to go around the back and uh, cut off the screws. Um, so I'm going to put lighting, strip lighting on the inside. I'm going to put a pond liner on the ground because I realize that, I mean, if I flood this thing, it's going to flood my basement, right? So pond liner on the ground. And then I'm going to put UVB up here. And uh, yeah, that's it. So... I'm going to put, so the, anyway, the point of going in here is I think the boa might be okay. I'm putting a lot of pressure on this actually, but I've got retics in enclosures that in my opinion are too small. I'm going to go put this down. If you guys are getting dizzy, I'm really sorry about this. In my opinion, the enclosures for the retics are too small. So what I'm going to do is I also have a uh, eight foot enclosure. I don't know why I'm, here, let's fix this. I also have an eight foot enclosure coming from cages uh, who I've been working with for a really long time. And it's an eight foot by two foot by two foot. It's been stuck at the border for three weeks. Shipping in Canada is awesome. So anyway, cages, it's not cages fault by the way. Uh, so that's going to put one retic in there and then two retics in there. And then I still have one retic that I need to find a home for because uh, it's an enclosure that's too small right now. So when I say I'm going to upgrade things, I actually do mean it. And I know that I'm really lucky to have sponsors and, and not even really sponsors because neither of these companies are sponsoring me. But, uh, oh, how are you heating? Great, great question. So uh, on the sides, so you can see how there's screen and then there's PVC, same on that side. I'm putting uh, heat panels. So instead of doing a, a, a gradient from left to right or right to left, I'm doing a gradient from top to bottom. And then the dart frogs obviously like it cooler. And then the tree frogs don't like it that warm and the pythons want it warmer. So the pythons can go to the top and I'm gonna put lots of sticks and logs. I had some really cool helpers help me pick sticks and logs uh, yesterday. I went to the park uh, to like a nature preserve type thing and I got a bunch of sticks and logs and uh, I just have to, my pond liner came today. So it depends how I feel after this. I might complete it tonight, but I want to film most of it and uh, do a video because custom reptile habitats, I mean, you guys can look up the price of this. It's not cheap, <laughs> you know, and they shipped it and they paid duty and like the whole thing. So uh, custom reptile habitats, this is my first time working with them. And I will tell you, I've had zero complaints, none. I've met Paul before. What a amazing human being. Um, but in, in general, the instructions were the best of any PVC company I've ever used. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about this one. It's going to be the feature of the room. I'm going to have a couch in here finally. It's going to be, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. No, I don't need the time you said it. Asher, I believe you. You're good, bro. Um, is it colder in Canada? Yeah, it's pretty cold. Uh, yesterday was nine degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. And today, what is it right now? Four degrees Celsius. So what's that? Probably like 34 degrees, something like that. It's pretty cool. So the heat panels, great question. What size? I'm using 120 watt. Um, on, so a big long one. That's basically almost four feet. It's almost the entire length. And I don't have another one and I don't want to buy one, but I have. So when I rearranged the room, I got rid of six PVCs that are now in my garage. That I'm going to sell them or repurpose them. But I have a few extra uh, 40 watt heat panels. So I'm going to put 240 watts on the top on the other side. So I'm going to have actually, this is going to be a cooler side and a warmer side, but not for the reason that you're thinking. 
Um, anyway, just to bug you, I looked it up. Canada isn't even on the top 10 list of highest tax countries. Okay, but do those – are we talking about just income tax or are we talking about then the sales tax and the, the uh, property tax and all the rest of it? Because once you get there – and even if that's the case, it do those countries also – require you to make, what is it, $254,000. So in this country, you have to make $254,000 to, to buy an average priced home in this country because our average homes are $700 to $1 million. So in those countries that tax, are tax higher, is cost of living is high? Probably not. So therefore, you're paying more taxes here. Anyway, but I understand what you're saying. A Lettuce Fun Channel, $13.99 Canadian dollars. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see your new enclosure. See you at the next expo. Don't forget to burn diamond. Uh, I'll be there in January, January 21st at the International Center in Mississauga, Ontario. I will be there. Diamond might too. I'm probably going to be a vendor at that show. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. The The expos are really awesome. Hey, question. Want to make reptile loving friends? Oh, this is for Discord. <laughs> Max, I'm reading your questions as if you're writing it to me. Uh, what's Spooky World doing? Where I am houses are 3 million plus. Uh, where are you? Well, I mean, there's $3 million plus homes here. I'm talking about a uh, median price home. Median price home, I think, was seven seventy three this year. So just for comparison, there's a guy that I know in Alabama. He's kind of silly. But anyway, he's talking to me. He's like, oh, you guys are fifteen fifty is your uh, minimum wage in Canada. Like, you don't even know what it's like. Bro, I literally, you can literally buy a property for $40,000 where you live. Don't talk to me. Uh, no, I'll never get a tomato frog. Tahoe, that's on the elbow, the low end to, oh yeah, well Tahoe, okay, but you, that's like saying, oh, well, where I live, where do you live? Beverly Hills. Like Tahoe is kind of like, not like, yeah. Actually, I do remember that about you. Someone talking to you about that. Uh, thanks for the information. I'll do my research and learn more. Hey, is Pikachu there? Pikachu's in the other room and he got fed today. So Pikachu won't be coming out, but I have a bunch of reptiles in here. Do you guys like the new setup? It's kind of narrow, but I'm thinking about I'm thinking about changing. I'm thinking about putting the big guy on top of this big guy, and then putting all these on that wall, and then it'll open it up two feet. Um, also, right beside me are the monkey tail skinks and the Zen habitats. No comment about that company. Uh, can you bring out Bonnie? Bonnie's in the next room, but we can go in the next room. Uh, anyway. Sweet grand, grandma smoothie, you're welcome. I don't know what's. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's going on anymore. I want to meet a retic. I'll tell you what, the retics that I have, they're beautiful, but they're all very food motivated, and it takes a while to get them out of it, and that's why I don't really handle them in videos. So, yeah, no comment on Zen. No, listen, they're doing their best. They're filling a void in the market. Uh. You know, I'll just say it. Um, you get what you pay for. There's a reason that Zen is half the price of everybody else. People balk all the time. Oh, cage. Oh, custom. Oh, they're so expensive. Well, what about Zen? Well, that's like saying, oh, uh, Ferraris are so expensive when Corollas are this. Well, yeah, they don't do the same thing. A Zen habitat is not made to be a premium enclosure. It's not a premium enclosure. It's not made to be. You hear this? It rattles around like no, like you can see light through the back of the enclosure of these Meridi. Okay, they're not premium enclosures. That's not what they're made to be. They're made to be functional, which they are. They hold the heat. They, they hold my animals in. They do what they're supposed to do. What they're not supposed to do is be a premium enclosure. You know what's a premium enclosure? That enclosure. That enclosure. These enclosures. That one. And that's why they cost you know twice the price. You get what you pay for, and I will support Cages and Custom and all those companies to the, to the bitter end. Um, this is not to crap on Kate, uh, to on Zen. I'm just saying it's a different. It's a different market. It's a different thing. It's not the same thing. Okay, Corolla reliable will get the job done. Ferrari the best that you can buy. Or Pagani, I don't know. Very well, Bugatti. Uh, <clears throat> first time stream watcher. Thanks so much for being here. We just gave away a shirt. We're going to give away more shirts and maybe I'll give away tickets to the expo. It depends if Foddy or Danielle show up and tell me I'm allowed to do that. I don't think we'll actually care. Anyway, uh, vendor at January 21st expo. Better call Adrian for hot sauce. I'm going to have to set you on fire on live stream again. Remember last time when you 
heat the heat made you shave off your half your stash yeah i do remember that so last january we did a big fundraising thing and i shaved off my mustache on stream anyway adrian you're the man appreciate you bro miss seeing you at expos and your hot sauce is still the best hot sauce that i have ever tried yeah i'll get a little fit in a bit uh is zen that bad i came in a weird time i like the l-shaped enclosure could you steal one with Marine grade, could you seal them with marine marine grade silicone? Like, it's not like they're that bad. It's just they're not they're not meant to be a premium product. Enclosure should. You, you hear the difference, right? Like, it's not a solid product. That's it. And by solid product, I mean like the material isn't solid. Like, it's flimsy. Like when I move this thing around, I'm afraid it's gonna fall apart. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm not trying to dis like be degrading to Zen. I'm just saying they're not the same thing. Uh, anyway. Yeah. If if we if we get to two thousand dollars, I'll pierce my nipple on stream tomorrow. No problem. Um, how do you afford your hair electrical with all those heat lamps? Uh, thanks for super chats like that basically like this channel does make money right so this is my job this is my career this is what i do for a living um so it's an expense like everything else right like if you have an ice cream shop then you have to pay for electricity to keep your ice cream frozen because freezers cost a lot of money to run same thing with this this stuff costs a lot of money to run but it's part of the overhead it's part of the expense it's part of uh it's part of the gig so corn snakes tend to burrow and substrate uh, yeah, they do. I've got three corn snakes. I bought three corn snakes. Oh, I haven't even talked about this at all. Y'all yeah, get Frankie out right now. I haven't talked about this at all. I got three corn snakes. They're upstairs, so I guess I can show you later. Um, they are, uh, Blood Red Pied Het Annery. All three of them. So the females are not old enough to breed yet. The male is. And they're all upstairs. Frankie, come here. And don't freak out. Oh, there we go. Uh yeah okay all right I read that okay my leopard gecko died today I'm really sorry to hear that that's sad poor Don he just wants to sleep I know I barely had the money to get good enclosures with a summer job yeah yeah and <laughs> so I'll tell you three corns okay. Two females, one male. Females are going to be ready next year. Males are ready right now. It's blood red, pied, het exanthic. Guess how much I paid for all three snakes. Young smoke, Canadian dollars. Young smoke pole, $10. If you want baby or platus fantasticus, F1's great. Uh, give me a shout in the spring. Got four eggs. Hmm. I would love fantasticus. That'd be pretty cool. I found them in the wild. So those are satanic Lito geckos for those of you who don't know. Yeah. Three grand? No, not even close. I got a great deal. Thousand dollars. Lower. Still lower. Um okay. I wish we could get them in the States. Two thousand dollars Canadian. Nope. Way less. Way lower. Five fifty nine. Lower. Less. Uh, uh, 550. Nope. 120 more. 300. Exactly. Uh, ingenious pixie. Oh, what's up? I don't want to say people's real names. I know you. I know your name. As some people don't want their real names known, but yes, uh, you are correct. 300 bucks. 300 bucks. Yep. It's from somebody out West who didn't really know what they had. And uh, now I have them and now I'm going to make a bunch of babies and sell them for more than 300 bucks. So it is what it is. Uh, and by the way, I did not exploit this person. Ow, 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 ow. Oh my goodness, your claws are brutal. Uh, I said, hey, do you know what you have? And it is what it is. They didn't like, they just wanted to get rid of them. So, uh, do I get a shirt? I mean, you are a Patreon supporter and stuff. So, yeah, sure. Email me. I'll send you a shirt. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Um, or, or how about this? Ow, ow, ow. Are you going to be at the next expo? Come up to my booth and I'll give you a free shirt. And that way I don't have to ship it. Or I'll ship it. It's up to you if you're not going to be there. Um, I got rid of your sliders for free. <laughs> oh, you guys are hilarious. I don't know what that means. I mean, I got <laughs> uh, that little guy is straight bullying you on the screen right now. It's true. Um, 
Yeah, his so their claws become like needles. Like I'm not. This isn't hyperbole. I'm not trying to be cute. Their needles, uh, sorry, their claws are so sharp. They're sharper than actual needles. So when they go into you, they stick in your skin. Like they go right into your skin. Um, so you have to really clip them. So with that said, it's not they're not a vicious animal. He's not trying to hurt me. They just they get stuck in your shirt and get stuck in your skin. You try to take them out, and it really rips your skin. So I have to, yeah. Anyway, Ari will be back on Tuesday. I'll add that to the list. Can I get a WWR shirt for a tattoo? Yeah, if you get a WWR tattoo, if anyone gets a WWR tattoo and sends me a picture, I'll send you a shirt immediately. No problem. I only know of, the, I think there's only three people that I know of that had WWR tattoos. So that'd be pretty cool. Which is, and I think Garrett, so Reach Out Reptiles, I think there's over 50 people with his logo tattooed. So let's, uh, yeah, if you, get a, if you get a WWR tattoo, show me and I will send you a free shirt that day. Um, yeah, mangrove monitors. Monitors have crazy. So his nails, I'm not trying to say they're super bad. They're just very pinpricky sharp. Um, excuse me. <laughs> Belching on stream. Uh, I'd say WWR tat would need a shirt a month. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I think it's really cool. Like, I get it. I, I have an autograph of, like, one of my favorite musicians on my body tattooed. I have people's faces tattooed on me. Like, my whole leg sleeve is people's faces, right? So, I don't know. 500 bucks, and I'll get my underwear and show you my legs. How about that? My leg sleeve tattoo. Uh, I have a tattoo for it from – I have a tattoo of your head from above. Is that – it's just a circle, though. It's more like an oval, bro. Uh <laughs> – I'm looking at, looking at my tat gun right now, but it's not, if you're calling it a tat gun, you're probably not a tattooer though, right? Because it's not, it's a tattoo machine, it's not a tattoo gun. All right, um, okay. Oh, so I'll tell you what I got. We'll go upstairs in a sec. I got, you guys can guess, what, I love this, this interaction has been great so far. Um, what? do you think I got? I'll give you a hint. It's an animal that I said I would never, ever get. And then in January, I found one in the wild and said I really, really wanted one. And then I made a video including them saying that they're the next... No, they're not guns. No tattoo artist on earth will call, you, call it a tattoo gun. Uh, and then I said in a video that I, this is going to be the next big thing. It's not a green iguana. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's like this big. It's, uh, it's not drab. And I have a picture on social media of me holding one. Anyway, those are your hints. And specific, specific species. Specific species. And I have not posted a picture. I posted a picture on uh, Patreon. So if, you, if you're on Patreon, you guys get... Uh, it's not... Uh, Max! Stop it, Max! Casey, yeah, it's Carver Chameleon. It's carpet chameleon. I bought a carpet chameleon. I wanted a bunch. If there was a group of carpet chameleons, I would have bought them, especially for the price they were at. But Chameleons Canada, so it is wild caught. She is gravid. So I will be um, hopefully getting eggs soon and starting captive bred carpet chameleons in Canada because uh, Snilk. Oh, I'm a snake person. <laughs> carpet chameleons, in my opinion, are some of the coolest chameleons. I almost said snake. Coolest chameleons on the planet. They're small. They're very colorful. They're bright. Um, please tell me where you're where not at the Canadian Reptile and Plant Expo so I don't have another reason to feel bad about missing it. Uh, oh, I was at the I was at the Reptile Expo. Um, did I say he is gravid? Listen, it's 2023. It's anyway. She is gravid is what I meant. Um, so I was at the expo. I am the host of all the social media at the expo, so I'm at everyone. And uh, I love it. Uh, I'm really happy to be part of the team. I guess he's going to be grabbing now. Well, I mean, 2023. Depends who you ask, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, just got two hogs. They're great. One uh, trans chameleon. <laughs> yeah. So she's really pretty. Um, we'll go upstairs at the very end and I'll show you her. But, uh, oh, did anybody watch the teaser for the new channel? Since my Leo died, what should I get next? Not to be lonely. 17 cats. Any carpet chameleon breeders in America? 
Yes. Uh, Frank Payne. Frank Payne breeds him. And uh, I, I've only had limited interaction with him, but he's been a nice guy to me, and he seems like a, a good guy. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, if you guys are new and you haven't seen – anyway, I'll just, like, tell – I didn't even really answer the question. So it's going to be planted and it is going to be bioactive. So putting a cleanup crew in there and it's going to be planted. I, I went to a – I went to a, a greenhouse this week and I spent way too much money on plants, but I can't wait to show you them. Like I bought big plants I, and small plants and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Rick Crony, if you hatch them out, let me know. I can make room for one. Thanks for the 25 Canadian dollars, my friend. Appreciate you, Rick. It was finally nice to meet you uh, last month or the month before last, I guess. Uh, sending cats free <laughs> Uh, but yes, I will definitely be letting you know first. So I'll let you know first, and then immediately after you, I'll let all the Patreon know about it too. Um, but what are you doing? Don't freaking bite my ear. <sighs> yeah. So are why are plants so expensive? They're in the aquatics industry too. So it depends. Some plants are cheap. If you want to buy an African violet or pothos, it's damn near free. Um, if you want to buy really cool Ethereums, they're expensive because they're hard to breed or hard to breed, hard to propagate and they're rare. So supply and demand, just like how business works. Basically, that's basically why, um, anyway, so young smoke pull $5. Hey Adam, if, if allowed, would you let me put some of the, my hot sauce on your table at next expo? You get the hottest bottle for free for show. Yeah, we can work out a commission deal for sure. And I'll definitely sell it. Like I'll definitely push it. I believe in it, but yeah, we can work out a, a commission deal or something like that. But yeah, for sure. Bo show. I need a good beard of dragon trump ties for diamonds. Can you do a garter snake care guide? No. So here's the thing: I don't do care guides about reptiles that I don't actually keep because I'm not qualified. I would maybe if I did a maybe I would go back to Annalise's or Annalise could come here and we could do a garter snake care guide because um, she's actually an expert and I'm not. Uh, where is your nearest expo? It is. Excuse me. Um, well, I guess Mississauga would be the nearest one, but I want to do more American ones. I just don't know where. What I want to do is I want to find a good uh, Southern California one, good Southern California one, because then I can go visit some friends down there that I know of, Costco. Yeah, Fiji Care. So here's the I want to do a Fiji Care Guide, but it's going to do bad because Americans can't watch it. The amount of people that can have Fiji banner go on is, is like nobody. Um, yeah, Sacramento, that's not Southern California. Did I say Southern California out loud? If I didn't, then I'm sorry for making you feel dumb, but yeah. Uh, what this tell me? Can you do 23 hog nose snake care? Yeah, I'm going to do a new hog nose care guide. Can you please do a care guide on morning geckos? Sure. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, the New England Reptile Expo would be cool because then I could go see my friends at Nerd. Um, big fan of those guys. Pomona. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know about January, though. It's pretty quick. So for, for travel this year, I don't really have a big trip for herping lined up. I want to do one, and I have at least one person in mind. So here's the deal. How much do I want to get into this? Uh, no, I don't. So I'm going to Jamaica in February for a wedding. This is something that's been planned for a year. Um, oh, she just blew a snot rocket at my neck. If you know anything about Jamaica herping or if there's expeditions, it's I'm going for a wedding, so I'm busy one day and the rest of the day. Like I can't just drink my face off on a beach for seven days. I'm going to get bored, okay? I, that's not – I can't do resorts. I don't do resorts, okay? But it's one of my best friends. He's getting married. I'm going. I've never been to Jamaica. It's going to be fun. I want to fly into reptiles. I want to make videos. I want to make videos for the new channel. So if you know of creepy stuff, historic stuff, reptile-related excursions in Jamaica, please – and I'm going to Montego Bay. So I think that's like – I don't know how big the island is. But let me know. I want to do more stuff than just sit on the beach. So please let me know. Um, my Burmese Python, uh, yeah, Burmese, Burmese Python care guide is coming for sure. So I did film a reptile room tour before I moved everything around. That's coming out first. And Burm, so think about this as a business because that's what it is. In December, that's when revenue is high. So I'm putting out bangers this month. Every video this month is a banger. Uh, I'm doing a sequel to They Almost Died, Keeping Reptiles. 
um, you know, gift giving guide, most popular next year, like banger videos. And then the, the short gainer or sorry, the long gainers, the things that do bad immediately, but gain exponentially are care guides. And I'm going to put a bunch of those up in January and February. Um, I'm trying to make that paper because let me tell you, this is expensive. <laughs> this is expensive. I was doing a, a cost sheet because I incorporated this month and, uh, the overhead for this business it's wild. It's over. It's almost seven thousand dollars a month. Just overhead. It's crazy. So more than I used to make at a day job is what it costs me to run this. It's crazy. Anyway, I think I did a video about that once, and since then it's gone up. So I think that it was like five and change, but now it's like almost seven grand. Uh, get a BCI. I have one. I was conceived in Jamaica, Montego Bay, to be exact. Uh, I love going there. They call me a white Jamaican. That's cool. Like that dude, side quests on Instagram, side quests. I don't know if he's actually white. Maybe he's mixed. I don't know. He looks like a white guy, but he can like speak the Jamaican slang. I, I love that guy's videos. Um, pick, pick the Skechos are awesome. When will the channel be available for us to watch? Uh, January 14th. So January 14th, 2019 is the day I started WWR. I posted my first video on the 15th. So I would like to start the new channel on the 14th of January, which will be my five year anniversary. So the fifth birthday. Yeah. Uh, has you, has you ever been badly bitten by a retic? No. My dad is scared of snakes, but is fine with lizards. What lizard should I consider? Hillary Clinton. Um, January 4th is my little bro's birthday. Well, can, happy birthday. Congratulations. Happy birthday to your little bro on January 14th. Uh, just a reminder for every – oh, I owe a couple swigs. Oh, my goodness. His claws are so sharp. As a reminder uh, – here, let's do this so you can see. For every uh, $20 donated, I take big swigs of pickle juice live on stream. The knock – well, you got to knock on wood, right? So my head is basically wood. Um, yeah. Has you ever been badly bitten? I read that one. Um, how many stakes do you have in your collection? Ugh. I hate this question. I don't know. A lot. Stop from Saskatchewan. What's the Arctic like? Um, he looks quite regal posted on <laughs> Sudan Plato lizards are pretty cool. Hey, you got a little something on your head. No, I don't. Emaciated bearded dragon advice. Yes. Uh, feed high fat diets. If it's an adult, try some picky mice, frozen thawed. And then there's uh, gels that you can buy now that are made for bearded dragons and leopard geckos and stuff. And try to feed those. That'll help too. And then, of course, uh, worms that are high in fat and like high, high caloric. Ugh. Feed them a high caloric diet, obviously. Same thing if you're a human, right? If you're a human and you want to start gaining weight, then you eat more calories than you burn. Same thing with animals. So um, if you want to lose weight, then you l eat less. That's why gaining weight and losing weight are the easiest things on the, on the planet, but we make billion dollar industries about them. If you want to lose weight, don't eat as much as you need to sustain your weight. If you want to gain weight, eat more. Eat in the surplus. If you want to lose weight, eat in the deficit. It's not rocket appliances. Okay. Say my name, Tanner Shattuck. I feel like I just fell into a trap. Okay, I guess we can tilt this back. Uh, today was nice, but nights are really cold. Same. It's three and it's been future tattoo slots in your arm. Any plan? Oh, any fill? Sorry. Any plans to fill those future tattoo slots in your arm? Okay. So my tattoo artist, his name is Cesar Franco. Amazing tattoo artist in Mississauga, Ontario. And this dude, uh, basically he's doing this entire arm, right? He did my whole chest and he's doing my leg too. If we get to $500 in donations on the stream, I'll take my pants off and show you the leg tattoos. Anyway, Ingenious Pixie, two dollars. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. You're the best. Nice talking to you at the last expo, by the way. Hope you enjoy the uh, surprise that Fadi brought you. Anyway, uh, anyway, so Caesar Franco. So all this stuff up here, we're just working from the bottom up. He likes to work from the bottom up. So one, two, three, probably three more uh, spots left. He's in Vancouver right now. He gets back to Ontario next week, and hopefully, he can fit me in three times. While he's home, and we can get this tattoo or this uh, arm sleeve, arm tattoo sleeve done. Do you have any shows in North Carolina or around North Carolina? No, but give me a reason to go there, and I will. Do you think discoids are worth breeding or stick with crickets? No, for sure they're worth breeding, for sure. 
what I think about false water cobras, they're cool. They put up. Oh, my question that I'd never gotten an answer to. Did anybody watch the – so in the description below, there's a teaser for the new channel, which is going to start in January. Did anybody watch it? What did you think? I'm, I'm looking for genuine reactions. Let me know. I need – I need something to go off of to know what type of videos. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be mostly travel stuff, voiceovers, if it's going to be like – I know I'm going to do like a top five. So one video idea I have is top five diseases you thought were extinct but weren't. And we're going to talk about leprosy and things like that. Uh, I went to a leper colony. So I, one of the women who work, who lives there uh, is in the video. The woman with one leg and no teeth, obviously. So, uh, can't wait for the History Channel. I'm so excited to, to do it. Emily from Safe Discovery loves false. Yeah, so do I. I think they're cool. Uh, Ingenious Pixie. $5. The new channel looks fantastic. So stoked you're using your cinematic and storytelling skills. Can't wait. Well, hey, thank you. That was actually a very nice compliment. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot of the stuff that I want to make, I can't make on the Reptile Channel. And the, not talents, but the... Things that I like to make don't fit with the Reptile channel, but I think it'll fit really well with this channel. So, yeah. Will you be posting long videos on your channel? 20 minutes. Yeah, so the Reptile Room Tour will probably be 20 plus minutes. The problem is, with 20 plus minute videos, people don't watch long form content as much. And in Canada, there's no money in short form content, which is why I'm not really on TikTok or Reels or whatever. Like, there's no money to be made. The money is still in long form content, which is how I pay my bills. But people don't watch a lot of it anymore, and it's really switching. So it's really genius. Uh, all these platforms don't really pay their creators for short-form content, but that's what they understand is that there's demand for. Anyway, uh, it's not in the description. Are you sure? Oh, no. Oh, thanks, Max. Appreciate you. You're the best. Also, uh, on Instagram, uh, on my story, I posted the link. So... How cool is this lizard? Don't let views dictate the what content you make. So here's the deal. Don't let views dictate the content you make. It's like me saying, don't let the hours you work dictate how much money you make and allow are allowed to bring home to your family to pay your mortgage and bills. View so I don't view hunt. If I if I was if I wanted to have a million views or a million subscribers, I could. I would show myself getting bitten and I'd use clickbaity stuff and I would do, you know who I'm talking about, that dude's style of videos and I'd be at a million plus subscribers. I don't, I, I want to be able to represent the reptile hobby in a positive light while doing what I do. But at the end of the day, I still need to make enough money to support myself in, the, in these animals and have enough for a rainy day. So... Yeah, I mean, the views do matter. I can't make content, <clears throat> and especially travel content, the stuff that I want to make, takes so long. Some of these videos take 40 plus hours for, like, working hours for one video, a whole week of just editing a video, and if nobody watches it, would you work 40 hours for free? No, you know what I mean? So, I get what you're saying, and I understand that you don't understand the gravity of it, but... Yeah, it's not really a thing that can happen. So, what tech do you think would you like to see developed? This question is too smart for me. That's what this channel is for, correct? Yeah. So that's why it's going to be one video a week. I just I'm going to have to edit the first several by myself for sure, and then hopefully Matt can get the hang of editing it. But I want to do more cinematic storytelling type stuff. So, yeah. Uh, did you fly? <laughs> yeah, I did fly a drone in the rain. I flew the drone directly into a rain cloud, in fact. And then Dave was looking at me like, you understand that drone's not coming back. And I said, I know. Maybe not. But it did. And I got the footage. So, voila. And then Dave got to use all the drone footage before I did. That's a different thing altogether. Uh... Don't let AI beat you out. <laughs> when I stream for games, I have uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Like you say, people don't like long streams, but it needs to be done. Well, and that's the thing too is like I say people don't like long form content, but then Joe Rogan does three hour content and people eat it up, including myself. So, who oh, likes Joe Rogan? I have a tattoo of Joe Rogan. Eat it. Whatever. I'd love to see uh, some crossover, maybe discussing ancient or crazy 
zoonotic diseases. Oh, that's cool. Uh, tell Frankie to do a backflip. Okay, Frankie, we're going to do a backflip. Ready? Come on. Don't we have to do a backflip? See those claws? Or like if you get one. Backflip. Good job, Frankie. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, no shows in North Carolina. When's the Steve Irwin tattoo coming? So here's the deal. Twix, don't send me money, please. Five dollars. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'll make you live in that enclosure. Please, no more. Everybody else can send me money though, if you want. It goes towards that enclosure. But uh, Twix already helped me build the thing, so you've done enough. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so here's the deal. Truly and honestly, all the, my arm and my leg is free. I do tip the guy more than you probably pay your tattoo artist, but. He, this dude is two thousand dollars a day. Okay, he's not cheap, but he's doing it for free for a tip. Um, so he, I give him creative license. So I go in there, and I don't really know what I'm getting tattooed that day. And I'll say to him, uh, "Hey, you know, this is my list of people. So like, on my list right now is like Johnny Depp, uh, Steve Irwin is right at the top, Doug Flutie. Like, I have a list of people that I want. And then I said, and so I listed this, and I said Arnold. He's like, I want to do Arnold today. I'm like, okay, fine. So we did Arnold. Like they're all going to get done. It just, I give him the option to do what he wants that day. And sometimes I'll go in thinking I'm getting my arm tattooed and he wants to do like a portrait on my leg. So because he's offering me that in, uh, I guess in trade for promotion, I'm very lenient with, with what he gets to do. And I'm okay with it. I'm not complaining. That's totally fine by me. At the end of the day, it all needs to get filled up and all the work he does is amazing. The Arnold tattoo that I have is maybe the best portrait I've ever seen ever. Um, but anyway, so Twix, thanks for the five dollars. Stop it. Can Neuralink? <laughs> I'll be in line for Neuralink whenever that's available. Uh, hey, what is the average percent of the time you spend on edits? I edit all the travel stuff, all the big stuff. I edit the reptile room tours, um, but Matt probably edits. 60 to 70% of my videos now, I would say. Um, Matt does a great job, and uh, he's got the new video for Thursday or for Monday is coming back tonight. So I'm really excited to watch that. Do you have any shows? No, nothing in North Carolina. Stop, <laughs> please. Uh, tattoo Steve yourself for 5K. No, you do not want to see me. I have no artistic ability at all. Like zero, zero none, less than zero. So. Uh, can your link make dogs smarter? I don't know, but if it does, please like give it to Josie because she's cute. Good thing. Green room pythons. What's up? $25. Happy to do some enclosure help. Love the idea. Happy to do some enclosure help. Love the idea for the new channel. The teaser looks fantastic. Well, thank you so much. Um, big fan of your work, by the way. Actually really like your channel. So I watch it on my television when I hang out with my dogs, which is why I don't comment because I can't comment, but uh, yeah, love what you're doing. Thanks for the compliment. And if you have any advice on the enclosure, I'm happy to take it. I I take everybody's advice because I'm not an expert. So, Young Smoke Pool, $10. $10 make you holla. $10 Canadian. You haven't seen me because I've been working up north, coming back home finally this month. Can't wait to see you again, bro. Please name one of the dart frogs in the tank hot sauce for me. I will. Adrian, can't wait to see you again, my friend. Uh, you've been missed at these expos for sure. Um, yeah, no problem, Green Room Pythons. I got you. Uh, seems like our paths never really quite cross. Like, they're always, like, close. But I'll see you probably at an expo or something. Did you place in the top three of the Snake Discovery build? I'm not patronizing. You. I actually really don't know. Your enclosure was really good, so I assume. I don't know. I hope to see you sooner than later. Um... I hope to watch your channel with my dog on my TV. Nice. Whiskey Girl, what's up? Did you know that my first YouTube channel was a whiskey channel? Except for we spell it without the E. But yeah, anyway, my first YouTube channel was a whiskey channel. Now you know. How about that? Uh, anyway, I'm just going to take a sip of my Just Ginger Ale. Hey, chill, Mr. Beast. Lives in North Carolina. I know. I'm just saying I'm not going there anytime soon. That's all. You know who else lives in North Carolina? Go herping. Don't care. Love that dude's channel when it was still a reptile channel. Um, yeah. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. There is ginger ale in this glass. A little bit. Uh, I was number four. And I'm next up if anyone cancels next year. Oh, okay. 
Okay, that's what I thought. You, you had a really good um, beard uh, enclosure. Adam, when you have a chance, you should check out My Pet Screech Owls, Uno, and Cedar. Okay. Wasn't there a, a TV show on, like, PBS or something? Screech Owls was about a hockey team, like, in the 90s? Anyway. Ever do X was in Michigan? No, but... Oh, does anybody know? So I watch Brian's channel. I get to talk to Brian quite often, and I'm really... Honestly, honored. Like, it's the craziest thing in the world that I can just talk to Brian. Does anyone have an update of when the um, uh, aquarium is opening? I really can't wait to see that, but I'll spend some time in Michigan when I go up there. So I'll probably be going up there with a guest and spend some time in Michigan. Be fun. Good time. Beard, eh? Enclosure. <laughs> you see the dudes? Okay, anyway. You should watch this channel. Uh, early to mid-February. Um, okay, I'm really hoping so. That'd be f oh, I hope it's not where I'm gone. In Jamaica. Can't cancel that one. Um, maybe dress as Brian. Hey, Adam, can't stay, but wanted to say hey. Thank you so much. Hey, Aurora, legacy likely end of February. Okay, that'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. <sighs> Beginning of February. Depends on shipment. So a few months, I think. Well, hopefully it's the end. So I saw I went into Brian's place the beginning of March 2022. And uh, I've told this story before, but I'll say it again. I'll do it without getting emotional this time. So Brian uh, is the reason I started this channel. If it wasn't for Brian, there would be no this channel. I was obsessed with his content. He was like a hero to me. And then I decided to start a channel and uh, he messaged me in December, 2021, something like that. I saw this is when blue check marks meant something. Okay. Um, so I saw blue check in my inbox and the only person that's ever messaged me with a blue check before was like, it was Emma Locke. Actually, that's, I talk so much crap about Zen, but Emma is the freaking best by the way. And I know she works for Zen. Uh, she's the VP of marketing or something. She's important. Anyway. So I saw when it wasn't Emma. I'm like, who is this? It was Brian. And he's like, Hey, watch your videos and, uh, you should come up whatever. And I've seen him comment on my videos before, but I'm like, ah, it's probably just someone who takes care of his comments. So then he calls me one day and, he's, and we started talking about it and I just showed up and I thought, okay, I'm going to go up to Brian's place and it's going to be like an hour. He's going to be busy. So I'm going to show up and it's going to take forever and he's going to give me an hour of his time and then I'm going to get to walk around with one of his employees and that's going to be it. I showed up, Brian and Jay are waiting for me outside, outside in the cold, waiting for me to pull up. I was late due to traffic at the bridge. Gives me a great big hug immediately. Never met this man before. So does Jay, his camera guy. Jay is about the size of a grizzly bear, by the way. Walk inside. What do you want to see? What do you want to do? What kind of videos do you want to make? Let's make yours first. Uh, yeah, I was like, and he spent all day with me. I got there, I think at 10 o'clock in the morning and it was eight o'clock by the time he left. And he spent the entire, no, no lunch break, nothing. Just, yeah, I've never been really treated like that by somebody before. Like I treat, I was treated by someone who's so important to me, like I was important. And I've never really got that before from someone like that. Oh no. All right, are we good now? We're good now. We're good now. I don't know why I just disconnected. Okay. Okay. It's better now. Uh, Catalina starts combos with me. Yeah, Catalina is awesome also. Catalina, you should... Okay, so next time you talk to Catalina, ask her about the invasive toad named George. George. And she'll sing you a song. We back. Anyway, so that's my... Uh, if there was a Mount Rushmore of reptile channels, he would be the first one. 100%. I want to hear in the comment section below. So four, if you don't know what Mount Rushmore is, maybe you don't live in the U.S., if you do live in the U.S. and don't, don't know what Mount Rushmore is, shame on you. Mount Rushmore, so pick four. The four best, most influential reptile channels on the planet. I want to hear your Mount Rushmore, and I'll think of mine. Definitely Brian. For sure, Brian. Uh, this is so tough, actually. There's so many, and all of them started like so close together. So close. I would probably put Dave, even though he's not the biggest channel, uh, and not just because he's my friend, but because he's been doing it for so long and he does a different genre, 
Uh, Snake Discovery. It's so hard. I don't want to forget anybody. Maybe Clint. Yeah, that would probably be mine. That would probably be my Mount Rushmore. So, and uh, yeah, but don't include me in your Mount Rushmore. I don't belong there. That's for sure. Yeah. Reach Out Reptiles, he's up there too. So here's the thing. It's impossible to, like, that's just my main four most influential across the hobby. Oh, yeet. He actually caught himself on the enclosure though. Oh, that's tape. Don't do that. Um, ow, ow. Okay, I'm going to put you back. And I'm going to blow my nose too. You guys want to hear a trumpet? I'm going to read all your... Uh... What's going on here? Yeah. Read all your comments after that. Okay, you guys ready? Ready for the trumpet? Okay. All right. We're back. I'm coming back. I'm... Zip, 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 do that. Nerd, Clint Reptiles, Brian, Snake Discovery. Uh, New England Reptiles. Yeah, New England Reptiles is definitely up there too. But my thing is, New England Reptiles has always been as influential and important as they are now, but they didn't have an audience or the reach until Donnie showed up. So that, in my opinion, is probably the best uh, structure for a channel. They've got Kevin, who is the reptile guy, and they have Donnie, who is a wizard at uh, social media and video like video production and whatever else. Say what you want about Donnie. I personally love the guy. And uh, I think that Nerd owes a lot to Donnie and Donnie owes a lot to Nerd. I think that they're – and Donnie has his own channel and that's on him. But I think that those that's a perfect collaboration where it's very mutual and they owe a lot to each other in my opinion. So Louis Schiappetta, $10. Looking for a place person who sells standard Aculus, Petri, and Saint, Southern Ontario. Any recommendations? Uh, Daffy's Reptiles and Port Credit Pets. Yeah. So, anyway, that's cool that you're Canadian. Anyway, because you won stuff. Brian Barchuk, Emily, Dave, Adam, Clint, Dion. I don't belong there, but thank you so much. Um, Donnie is the reason I'm not putting them in mind, to be honest. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that so the channel itself I don't think would be anywhere near what it is without Donnie. Um, but of course it's not it's not because the content isn't there, it's just they didn't Kevin knows reptiles so much, all he cares about is reptiles. Kevin doesn't care enough about the bit like the not business, but the social media side to make it what it is now, where Donnie does. That is the perfect relationship. I love both of those guys. Kevin's amazing. Kevin is like <laughs> he pulls me aside at Animal Con. I barely know the guy. Like I really like Kevin. I've got nothing. I've got nothing but love and respect for Kevin. He pulls me aside and just starts like talk, like just talking about reptiles. And it's and he's talking to me. That I can see that he's talking to me, but he's almost like talking through me because he can see things going over my head. And he's like smiling and just kind of like re. Kevin's the man. I love Kevin. He's the best. Um, Brian, WWR, Dakota, Dakota Blue is on your Mount Rushmore. Okay. Snake Discovery. Nerd does a ton of videos that are very useful. Yeah, like th their content is so much different than everybody else's too. There's nobody like Kevin. Kevin's the man. Um, he's the man for sure. You, oh, Serpa. Ooh, good points. Good points. I love Tanner. He's the best. Nerd, Brian, Reach Out, Clint, Reptile Rapture. I don't know what that is. Like Donnie Rapture? Okay. Uh, I've interacted enough with him to leave a sour taste. Love Kevin Donnie, though. Well, Donnie is an acquired taste I get for some people. I personally love Donnie, but so I have nothing bad to say about Donnie. He's been nothing but nice to me, and uh, I'm a comedian, and most of my friends are comedians. So if you think Donnie is difficult... Go hang. Comedians are all broken toys. Like, have fun with that. I think that I'm just kind of used to people who are maybe not rough around the edges, but just, you know, different. So I love Donnie. He's the best. Also, nobody else came screaming to my defense like Donnie did when I got tried to get, they tried to cancel me for taking 13 seconds of footage from some dickhead in South, uh, South Africa. And you can clip this and send it to him. That guy's a dickhead. Tyrone Ping. Anyway, so nobody ran in my defense like Donnie did. Donnie had my back. Donnie's the man. Donnie's a friend. 
Anyway, uh, oh, real Tarzan. Okay, all right. Uh, no, I don't belong, but I really do appreciate it. May, you know, it makes me feel good. Creature reptiles, Clint's, Will Nace, Will, whoa, Will's, the, Will's a man too. Um, eh, Donnie doesn't mean to tone himself down though, because the reason that he is as successful as he is is because of the way he is. So some people just don't get along. Some people don't jive. You know. So yeah, I think. I, but I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. For for you, you for you know, uh, Duff does nature stuff. <laughs> Duffy. One of the most unique characters I've, I hung out with him in Florida quite a bit, and uh, one of the most unique dudes I've ever met. I really like that guy. Uh, I'm not a reptile icon, but I appreciate him. You're a reptile icon for dressing like me. Uh, yeah, I, I got kind of mad. It is what it is. Uh, you know, on the comedian note, you honestly seem like you've got your shit together, dude. Most comedians are kind of hot bag of trauma and depressing. That is true. Um, yeah, well, most, like, th put it this way. As a comedian, what are you doing? You're going up on stage and you're making fun of yourself and airing your dirty laundry in front of people who you don't know so they laugh at you. That's what a comedian is. That's not really normal, you know? So yeah, most comedians are broken toys. Almost all of them. Everyone that I know that's talented or very good, all of them have some sort of problem. Um, family problem, emotional problem, substance abuse problem, uh, trauma, whatever. Like, If you know a comedian who's very good, it's very likely that person has something uh, wrong with them. Yeah. Also, if you haven't watched... Um, Shane Gillis' new special, I'm going to watch it again later because I've watched it three times and it just never isn't funny. It's so funny. If you're a little bit of a snowflake, don't watch it though. If you get offended by words, not one for you. Uh, what's your favorite Star, Ugh. star Wars? Ugh. 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 Gross. Have you ever watched Tim Hawkins? No, I have no idea who that is, but I'll go check it out. Some of the artist's great art comes from tragedy and pain. Most of it probably. Except for that Tears in Heaven song. What a dumb... Oh, I hate that song so much. I feel bad for Eric Clapton, but that's a bad song. I stopped touring comedy clubs mainly because comics are terrible uh, to hang out with for a weekend. That is true. That is true. So I... By no means am I a national headline or anything like that. I don't pretend to be that. Uh, so I'm, but when I get booked for like bigger shows that I'm opening for, not headlining for. I always look who the headliner is and it's always a bit of a yay or, oh, okay. And so I'm booked uh, at Showtime in St. Catharines next weekend, uh, which is kind of a bigger show. They're sold out. Both shows are sold out. And the headliner is Drew Bem, who I get along with great. I was a little tiny itty bitty opener and he was so freaking nice to me. And then, you know, so now I have a little bit of a success and, it's really, really nice. Um, I'm disowned, am I? Uh, did you have a great childhood or are you funny? Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly right. Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld is maybe the best joke writer b behind George Carlin and Richard Pryor of all time. Um, if you don't like him or not, in terms of in terms of joke writing, Jerry Seinfeld is way up there. Um, Star, eh, Star Wars is not the best. Ugh. I used to have this joke. Are we? Do we have kids here still? Can I tell the joke about Star Wars? Anyway, Young Smokepool, five dollars. Adam, know anyone working with selling strufferous? Is that the one, the Australian golden with the tail thing? We want to get them uh, new his. Love the new History Channel. As you know, I am a huge history buff. I know you are. You you shoot muskets made two hundred years ago. You're a weirdo like me. That's why we we get along. Strufferous, I think those are the are their tail guys. If so, uh, talk to Ashley Bazan or is it Jungle Vault? They always have the table together, so I never know whose is what stuff. Greg, I'm on six ninety nine Canadian. Thanks for the advice on the recent Toronto show, the Taiwan Beauty Snakes. Oh, hey Greg, I know you. Uh, is setting it settling in nicely. Eats like a beast named Enrico Fermi. Oh, shoot. You're okay. Awesome. Great speaking to you. By the way, I'm glad that's going well. Um. My favorite stand-up is Jerry Seinfeld. Nobody ever says that. Fluffy Enrique Iglesias, his best role is usually as a drug uh, cartel executive in movies. Steve Martin, 
Okay, so most people don't even know Steve Martin was a comedian. Steve Martin was one of the best comedians in the 70s uh, and early 80s. Most people don't even know that. Uh, same with Howie Mandel. Howie Mandel was never a great comedian, in my opinion, but he was a comedian. And then he t he bought Just for Laughs and completely destroyed the Canadian comedy industry. And everybody who's a Canadian comic hates Howie Mandel. But anyway, that's besides the point. Eddie, Eddie Murphy Delirious is one of the best specials of all time. Um, I do agree with you. M my favorite special of all time is Jam in New York, 1992, uh, George Carlin. And then right after that is probably Paper, Tar Paper Tiger, 2019, Bill Burr. Um, and then the new Shane Gillis special is like way up there. It only came out recently, but it's way up there. Uh, Star Wars, more like Star Dumb. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Tanner, Tarantula Collective, Reptiliatus, and Kayla Roach. How do I... Okay. Good list. I'm watching about 10 minutes behind Reptile Rushmore, Brian, of course, Nerds, Sake Discovery, and Dave. Okay. Uh, oh, Reach Out Reptiles! Zara Wickens is going far in 2024. I'm calling it now. Thanks, Reach Out Reptiles. Garrett or whoever runs your social media now. Appreciate you. I've got nothing but nice things to say about Rachel Reptiles, by the way. Garrett is one of the nicest, kindest human beings I've ever met in my entire life. Who's done more for the reptile industry and definitely the retech uh, hobby than anybody else. Um, yeah, so you should watch his channel. Oh, it's definitely Garrett who's giving me the... Hey, what happened to you? Uh, what reptiles do you recommend? All of them. They're all great. You should go ahead and get them all. Get every single one of them. Oh, what's up, Garrett? Uh, it's a movie. It's the movie Titanic 2. Is the movie Titanic 2 underrated? I've actually never watched the movie Titanic. When I was a kid, I remember it. I remember everyone watched it, and it was like a minute, an hour 22 in that there was – it didn't work on the first tape because that was when Rose showed her, her boobs. But, uh, yeah, when I was a kid, it came out in like 96 or something, and it was on two VHSs, and I never watched it. But all my friends had the first tape. Um Boys are gross. Thanks, bud. No problem, Garrett. Nice to see you guys. I love when you come in just at that time right there. Imagine having the attention span <clears throat> for Titanic. Yeah. Titanic 2 is a different. Okay. Um, yeah, Reach Out Reptiles. Do you guys do public tours? Somebody wants to know. Twix, stop sending money. I'll come over there. I know where you are. I'll come down there. I'll give you money back to you. What? Watch it. What? Watch it. It's so good, but it's three hours and 16 minutes long. It's so crazy because, like, that's a Tarantino movie. They're all that. The Irishman is like, yeah. Uh, is that a threat for Twix? It absolutely is a threat for Twix. I will go over there, Twix, and I'll give you your money back. Um, <clears throat> oh, you can book through the site. If you want to uh, – so Razor Reptiles is the, the coolest retake facility ever, by the way. I've been there three times. Love it. Great. Just outside Pittsburgh. If you'd like to go, you can book on their website at reachoutreptiles.com. Probably. I'm guessing that's your website. I actually don't know. Um, my attention span is holding on to dear life. <laughs> well, we're going to end it soon. Oh, we're almost an hour and a half in. Appreciate you. Any last minute super chats are going to this awesome enclosure. Oh, Garrett, if you're still here, this big giant enclosure, which is eight foot by six foot by four foot, is going to have reticulated pythons in it. So how about that? There you go. You, you turned me to the dark side. I told you I never wanted retex. Now I got retex. Anyway, uh, yeah, Reach Out Reptiles' creativity is beyond comparison. I agree. How much money have we made? $295. For $500, if we get to $500, I take my pants off and show you the leg tattoo. That's a weird thing. Uh, Wickens does need a new uh, another Pittsburgh visit faux show. How about this, Garrett? How about in the spring I come down? To reach out reptiles, if you invite me, I come, I'm kind of inviting myself right now, but you let me know. And uh, we do another tour, video, whole video, do a, um, do a, the podcast maybe, I don't know, could do a bunch of fun stuff, go look in the woods for turtles. I'll put my feet in the muck this time. I will, I promise, I will. Twix, $2 Canadian, don't tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do, Twix. I'm going to tell you, stop sending me freaking money because I, I will come down there and I will put that toonie. $2 coins in Canada are called toonies. I'll put that toonie right back in your pocket. Heartland Reptiles, four ninety nine for the retake enclosure. Me, met you at Yeah, I remember you. I remember you. And we talked about your aluminum enclosures and stuff. Come on. I know who you are. Um, 
No X needs an Alberta visit. Uh, I went to Alberta in August. Why is it six degrees and snowy in Alberta? I remember I went to Jasper, Alberta, June 2nd, 2017, and it snowed. What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with you people? I love living in the Arctic. It's great. Mm. Yeah, okay, whatever. I know you guys don't do carbon tax. Oh, waiting. Ooh, Twix. All right, guys, I'm going to have to wrap this stream up to go put Tony's. Twix's pocket. Um, you need a Sacramento trip in April so I can see you at the SAC show. That'd be pretty cool. April would be a good time to go to Sacramento, I think. Hmm. No snow yet. You're lying to me. I know you live, and my best friend lives in the same city as you. You're lying to me. I've seen snow. His chihuahuas are pooping on snow in his yard. You're lying to me. Horn dragons, dart frogs, day gecko. Oh, are you watching behind? No, that's not correct. Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Okay, perfect. Sounds good, Garrett. It's a date. We'll do it. We'll do it like uh, April or May or something. We did say we are going to meet at Reach Out Reptiles. We did say that. Hey, I'll meet you at Reach Out Reptiles, Max, for sure. I think it'd be fun. Um, yeah. Plus, I need another Reach Out Reptiles tattoo. I guess that's for next July at Reach Out Fest. Or Re Retake Fest. Retake Fest. I'll send a pic on Discord. We have no snow. Okay, I'm saying you don't. maybe you don't have snow right now, but you've had snow this year. I know you have. I know you have because I know you live. I know where you live. I feel like I'm threatening everybody in this stream. I, Asher, I know where you live. Twix, I'm going to come put money in your pocket. <clears throat> Got to go to Chicago. Reach out fast. Whatever, it's retick fast. I got confused for a second. Let's go. Uh, it's 9 degrees Celsius in Dallas, Forest World, Dallas Fort Worth right now. It's four degrees here. It's not even that. That's cold for you guys. Let's all take a field trip to reach out. <laughs> I'd love to. It'd be fun. Garrett has the coolest retex and other snakes, house snakes that you've ever seen. A kid started started trying to swallow a hot dog hole. What? Oh, Chicago's okay. Okay, now I'm confused. I was told my beardy is due for a soak. Seriously, and how it can make him less scared of me. So you don't need to soak your beardies unless there's an issue with them. They don't need baths. They come from a place in the world where they don't get bathed. Don't get bathed. Did I miss the super chat? Oh, Twix again. And okay. <clears throat> What's that? Twelve bucks, Twix. Anyway, uh, okay, so. Got a carpet python, or carpet python, carpet chameleon, new enclosure, showed you a bunch of stuff, gave away a shirt, new channel. If you guys haven't watched the teaser for the new channel, Max is going to put it in the comments. <laughs> please, Max. If not, go to Instagram, and I, I posted it on there. Um, please do watch. I'm very proud of the teaser. The, the content is going to be very similar to that, obviously, with talking in the storyline. Um, but I'm very proud of it, and I really would like you guys to watch it. So please do. And I wish I could just play it after the stream, but I don't know how to do stuff like that. I need someone to help me with streams. I'm not very smart. Do we get to know the Star Wars joke? It was something along the lines of you tell me what uh, you tell me all about Star Wars, and I'll tell you what the inside of a you know what feels like. That was kind of something along those lines. Nerds. Anyway, uh, new house. Can I see the corn snakes, please? They're upstairs and sleeping, but I'll post them on Instagram. Oh, Garrett sent me text messages. Uh, do you want to hear some of my jokes? Yes, I do. All I want to hear is your text messages. Should I do one of these streams with somebody else? Like, would you guys like it if I did one with Garrett or Daffy or Dion or something? That could be fun, right? Maybe we'll do that next time. I gotta have to like a, a switchboard and like cameras. I gotta figure out how to do that. I'm just so technologically stupid. Do one with me. Sure, I'll come to, uh, you just told me where you were. Tahoe. Knock, knock, who's there? I'll stream with the mod, that'd be good. Stream with the mod. Dude, Zoom. I don't wanna do Zoom stuff. Dumb, no, I don't wanna do Zoom. I wanna do in-person stuff. No Zoom. No one's more fun than Diane. That's true. Diane's a man. Not my dad, that's for sure. <laughs> Good one. Uh, and guess how he died. How did he die? Bye, Casey. Thank you so much for your generosity. You're the best. Appreciate you. 
Uh, Josie and Nelly love their jerseys. Be the best. Doing it with Dion. Yeah, I would love to do it with Dion. Dion's so much fun to travel with. He's like, if you met him, you'd think him and I are very opposite, but we get along very well. Um, how does Darth Vader like his do toast on the dark side? Their bourbonic plague. Well, cheers, ginger ale to that. Do one with Liam from Reptiles Research. <laughs> I guarantee you that will not be happening, but I appreciate it. That'd be a fun one. So do you think, absolutely, there's no other answer besides what I have to say? Yeah, well, that's probably not going to happen. Diane and Kayla, that'd be a fun one, for sure. Uh, do one with Annalise. I would definitely do one with Annalise. Annalise is uh, really fun. Um, yeah. Anyway. Do Diane or Kayla. Yeah, Diamond and Kayla are both great. I could do one with uh, both. <laughs> Annalise is the best. So I met Annalise. She was like 14 or something. And then it's crazy when you meet kids when they're kids. So another great example is Charles. Um, and you meet kids when they're like 12 or 13 or something. And then in two years, they're like a different human being. It's crazy. I don't have kids. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, let us... Let us see the rescue iguana. Okay. Trailer looks awesome. Thank you so much. What about with Mike? Yeah, I would definitely go with Mike. Mike and I are boys. I love Mike. Um, man, you could definitely befriend Annalise. She's a very friendly, kind person. Plus, you two are similar age. So that would work. If you could pick one kind of snake and that was all you could own, what would it be? Money is not an issue. Burmese pythons. It'd be birds. Hey, can I hear your inner British toast? I don't know what that means. Uh, two years difference. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just don't want. Yeah, I don't like to tell talk to, about people's names and where they live and uh, and ages and stuff because some people get weird about it. Deadly Canadian reptile girl. <laughs> we'll be an extra. Good night, Ian's guys. Keep crushing it, Adam. Hey, thanks, Garrett, so much for showing up. I really appreciate you, man, and. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see you again. Garrett's the man. If you don't already follow his YouTube channel, you're a silly goose and you definitely need to. Kim Crawford, $9.99. Didn't get to talk too much at Animal Con. Uh, sad, but what a good time the event was. Trap Talk Reptile Podcast just did an awesome interview with Brian B. yesterday. Your content rocks out. I want to watch that. Um, Kim Crawford, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. You're awesome. Um, yeah, I really do need to watch that. I heard there was not a dry eye in the house. Which makes sense. So, uh, Brian, Brian did his opening speech at Animal Con, and uh, yeah, it was definitely not a dry eye. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to more adventures with Brian. So he'll he'll be around. I feel it. The Rhino Rattlesnakes are great. I'm making an enclosure for all three of them. Annalise is on her way to be being part of the Mount Rushmore herself. Love her So Annalise. Annalise makes some of the most inspiring content and most informative and useful content. Uh, I do believe that. So yeah, she's going places. The little prayer circle made me cry. Yeah. I don't even know where that or when that happened. I was not present for that. I don't know what happened with that. Do a British voice for us, please, sir, if you may. Sure, I will in one second after I give Twitch shit for giving me money. Um, uh, yes, I'm going to try to do Discord after this if my thing allows me. Twix, stop doing this. Stop doing this. There's so many things. I'm just going to keep myself. Hope everything's going great where you are. I'm going to come give you tunies in your pocket. Thanks for the smooch. Um, okay. Third day right before the kids panel. Oh, was that what it was? No, oh. I wasn't around. I was probably doing a panel. I don't know if you know, well, you know, cause you were there, but I did 47 million panels at Animal Con. So, uh, you want me to do a British voice or you want me to do Liam? Canadian Reptile Girl is on another level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Twix needs to give me no money. How about that? Um, yeah, you did follow me around for most of them, and I really appreciate that. You're the best. 
You are the best. I mean, so Turts and Hurts dressed up as me. I think it was the se- was it the second or third day of Animal Con, and uh, so I come into one of the rooms. That, um, and there's a, like so the way that the panels work. So the third day, right? So uh, the way that the panels worked. They're fine at Clint's. I don't know. I didn't go to Clint's thing. Uh, the way the panels worked is you walk into a room. There's a stage and chairs and a desk or whatever, and then there's a podium where the uh, who's Annalise? All Canadian reptile girl. You have to follow. And there's a podium where the moderator stands. And I was a moderator for almost all my panels. I moderated nine panels or something like that, like a ton of them, more than everybody else. And then I get in there and I, and because my vision isn't good and the lighting kind of sucks, uh, I looked up at the podium and I'm like, there's some dude there, but I'm moderating this panel. So am I wrong or someone challenging me or what's going on exactly? And then I look up and I'm like, oh, it's Turts and Herps. <laughs> It's someone who's dressed like me standing at the panel, which was the funniest thing ever, by the way. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And some dude started talking to her like she was me. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was pretty funny. So just like this is a big event with tons of people there, all the influencers, everybody's there. And she has the gojones to dress like me for the whole day. We're talking face makeup, so it looks like she has a, the patchy beard that I do, the spacers, everything. Like, total get up, and she shows up, and she's standing up there at the podium. That was the funniest thing to me. It was the funniest thing to me. So, congratulations to you for making me laugh the most ridiculously hard. Uh, that's the thing that I... that The only thing I don't like about these... these um, events expos and animal con is i don't get enough time with each person because like turts and her spent so much freaking time she flew out there the whole thing and uh yeah and i just didn't have enough i don't know i just didn't really get enough time to like chat uh which i feel like is always the case because there's so many people there and I'm, I'm just so lucky to get to talk to people and have people want to talk to me so i just wish that um yeah yeah, there was more time to talk to people. Then I was sending my friend during the conservation panel, texting my friend whose dog was dying, and the guy stared at me and was like, kids are so addicted to their phones. <laughs> oh, my God. That's brutal. That's so sad. Oh, so sorry about that. Ethan Landrum, $5. I love your channel and can't wait to see what you have in store for the future. Also, Star Wars is the best. Well, thank you for the $5, but Star Wars is not the best. Uh... Yeah, anyway, Turns and Herps, I appreciate you. You're the best. Very few people go that far. If you don't already follow Asher's Amphibians, he also dressed like me with the green screen. It was hilarious. You two would get along. I think you're probably similar ages. Absolutely hilarious. So, yeah. The Reptile Room do be looking different. It does. Wait until you see when I'm done with it. It's going to look freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. Uh, yeah. Reach out to him for sure and tell him I said so. Pokemon is better than Star Wars. 100%. 100%. Hi, you're my favorite channel. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. You know what else you might like? Informal history. In the description below, there's a link. Or apparently there's not. Anyway, there's a teaser to the new channel. I can't wait for you to watch it. And, uh, Instagram. Instagram. Follow me on Instagram in the last story. There's a link to it. Nothing better. Nothing is better than start. Okay. Do you enjoy other pickled foods? Yes. I like pickled ginger. I like pickled asparagus. I like pickled cabbage. But most dill pickle flavored things kind of suck. Like all the dill pickle hot sauces I've ever tried suck. Dill pickle. Oh, I was supposed to eat dill pickle cotton candy for this, which is actually pretty good. I have it still upstairs. Is Into the Am worth buying from? I see you wear their shirts and they look nice. Yes. Into the Am slash WWR. I don't really advertise for them anymore because their payment schedule for creators isn't great. How much do I want to say? I'll let them respond to me first before I say what I have to say about them. But the clothing is good. So, yeah. Pickle kettle chips are so good. Ooh, that might be good. I haven't tried that yet. 
Pickle seasoning on popcorn. Other than reptiles, what are some of your hobbies? I don't know. I work. Like, this is kind of all I do. Um, hobbies besides this. I don't know. Like, I like to go to the gym and go for walks and hike. Oh, one wheel. Do you guys know what a one wheel is? I, I, I'm obsessed with one wheeling. It's the most fun thing ever. Um, when are you going to do a reptile room tour? Uh, it's filmed. I just have to edit it and post it. So probably not the next video, the video after that. I kind of have to now because I, I have a sponsor for it. So, so many one wheel stories on Insta. Yeah. Like I love one wheeling so much. I like moving through space quickly and the ways that you can do that are in a car, but it's like not as fun. Bicycles are great, but they take up a lot of energy. So one wheel, you stand on it, and then you can control it with your feet and your weight. Like you just shift your weight to make it go forward, backward, and uh, side to side. And uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's the most fun thing ever. I, I spend hours a day in the summer on a one wheel. So uh, my boyfriend looks like you. He just has green eyes. Nice. Pickled jalapenos. Ooh. For sure. Have you tried the heartbeat dill pickle hot sauce? Yes, I have. It's gross. It's not good. Um, what is your first video for the new channel? I haven't decided which one's gonna be the first one, but I got a few. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna unload all of the Asia videos because I think those are the most cinematic ones. But it I think a lot of the videos are gonna be very similar to the style I do now, where it's um like me sitting in the different set sets upstairs and I'm still building, uh, talking about like storytelling, like history storytelling, like creepy stories, the history of such and such with B roll and the whole thing. So it's going to be a lot of that. Um, today my dog ran away, chased her for an hour and then she's going. To... Oh, you finally got her. Thank goodness. Well, that's so sad. Deborah weekends. Have you tried the heartbeat? Del oh, I already pickled pig's feet what no okay speak now if I ever hold your peace I should go I want to get on the discord though probably well, about three minutes ago can you quick re oh yeah sure quick recap big enclosure eight foot six foot four foot reticulated pythons tree frogs dart frogs going in it building that gotta put the pond liner and stuff Moved the reptile room around, gave somebody a free shirt, got a carpet chameleon, but and the live stream. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate you. Canal. Where I live, there's a realty group called uh, Canal City Realty, but someone went around and removed the C from all the signs, and I thought it was really funny. Anyway, uh, what kind of history channel are you going to focus on? So I'm going to do a lot of 1812 history because I live in Niagara. So there's a ton of uh, 1812 history here. And then I want to do history every time I go somewhere. And not, not necessarily history, but like just culture and stuff. So I'm going to uh, cover like Trunyan Cemetery where they leave their bodies open. So Max just posted the teaser. Those bodies that I showed are real human remains. Like you're standing in a pile of bones. It was the craziest place on earth. So Trunyan I'm going to do. Um, there's a cartoon temple I'm going to do a video on. Top five ten temples around the world. Video on leprosy. Uh, top five extinct diseases that still ravage the earth. Stuff like that. So uh, will you do haunted stuff at Fort Henry? I don't know where Fort Henry is. But uh, f there's a bunch of for like uh, Fort George is here. Fort Mississauga. The most haunted place in Canada is Fort Mississauga. So we'll do a video on that. Stuff like that. So... Yeah. Anyway, my butt hurts. I can't sit here anymore. Pickled eggs. This is disgusting. No. Absolutely not. <sighs> I'm going to get a ball python. 120 big enough. Yes. Is there anything else you guys would like to talk about? Cheers. Come in Colorado. We had a place get in trouble for mummifying people. What? Please admit, DM me on Instagram about that. DM me on Instagram about that. I need to know about it, and I need to go there to make a video. Uh, I went to 
a cemetery in Erie, Pennsylvania in the summer. And I filmed the video there. That was pretty cool. One of the biggest cemeteries in the world. The croc sinks are named from me from the second favorite animal I have right now. Pickle juice is busting, busting. Do you attend Frightmare in the Falls? No, I don't. We obviously know where I live. Um, no, but I have friends who used to work there. So, but so there's like Screaming Tunnel here, Blue Ghost Tunnel, Beaver Dams, uh, the Q House, the Laura Secord spot. Like where I live, within walking distance, I could do four videos. So. Yeah. Anyway, I scared an actor at a random haunted house. That's terrifying. I don't like haunted houses. They're scary. Uh, I don't know what the Winchester house is. Anyway, thank you guys so much for showing up. Appreciate you guys. You guys are the freaking best. If there's anything else that you would like to talk about, we're going to be on Discord hopefully soon if it allows me to do that. Bump on a bump bump. Bump bump.